O'Brien gives it back to Toffolo, takes it away from one and into the penalty area and away from a second and stabs it back for Lingard and it's going to be bundled in by Taiwo Awanyi! Lingard misses it but it bubbled through the six yard box and Taiwo Awanyi, the Nigerian, the 17 million pound man, scores for his first Premier League goal since 1999! Gibbs White takes it, back post, Steve Cook brings it down brilliantly and volleys it in! It's in the goal! Yeah! Come back for one Tyler scores! And the city ground goes ballistic! Forest lead Liverpool by a goal to nil! Cook's driven cross, six yards out! The first effort from a one hit the post! Came straight back to the striker! And he's belted it in in front of the Trent end. And it's Forest 1, Liverpool 0. Ten minutes into the second half. Now here's uh, Lingard helping it away to the left-hand side for Loddy. Loddy charging forward towards the edge of the box. Cuts inside, right to oh! Brilliant! Brilliant goal, goal from the Brazilian! It's 1-0 to Forest and Renan and Loddy gets his first goal. Right-footed curler as he cuts inside from 20 yards out and curls it right inside the far post beyond Fraser Forster. Six foot seven he may be, but even full stretch he could not get anywhere near it. A little piece of Brazilian magic on a November night on Trent side means it's Forest 1, Spurs nil. Level with the edge of the box, crosses back post, Surridge goes up, heads it across the face of goal yeah. and headed in oh. by Jesse Lingard. Lingard gets his goal at last. He's had a cracking night and after a sweeping break from one end to the other led by Serge Aurier and Taiwo Awanyi the cross finds Surridge, Surridge nods it back across the face of goal and Jesse Lingard heads in in front of the Trent end and Forest lead 2-0, 12 minutes into the second half. Ruben Neves for Wolves, Dean Henderson back onto his goal line. Neves against Henderson all in blue, Neves Goes the same way as Surridge, and Henderson makes the save. He goes the same way as Saar did, and makes a similar save. And it's nil-nil after the first two penalties. Remo Freuler next for Forrest, nil-nil after a penalty each. Remo Freuler, right-footed, strokes it into the bottom corner, sending Saar the wrong way this time. That's a beautifully struck penalty. Wonderfully confident from the Swiss World Cup man at the Bridgeford end to try and take his side another step closer to the semi final. Puts it down Good the middle, penalty. buries it down the middle. Joe Worrell, goalkeeper, dives out of his way. Now, what can Morgan Gibbs White do for Forrest in the shootout? 2 2 it is. He steps and he somehow managed to squeeze Good it Lord. inside the back post. Forrest fifth, Jack Colback. Steps up and blasts it down the middle. Forrest lead the shootout 4 3. Here comes Hodge and he's missed it. Henderson saves it. And Forrest are in the semi final of the League Cup. Forrest win the shootout by four penalties to three. Henderson guesses the right way and dives low to his right to keep it out. And Forrest will go through to a two legged semi final. They've won the penalty shootout and cue the celebrations at the city ground as yet another milestone is reached. It's been 31 years since Forrest were in the last four of the League Cup. Now Surridge forward to Gibbs White, good ball. Gibbs White looking for Johnson, it's going to be offside I think. Johnson is through and Johnson beats the goalkeeper and Johnson rolls yeah! in and oh, then the flag goes up. He's off, he's off. Yeah, I thought he would be. I and I don't think VAR is going to help Forrest. It will check it, obviously. It's going to be given. Yes! Get in there! Get in there. Johnson's goal stands! VAR works in Forrest's favour and Forrest lead. 
They've capitalised on Leicester being all over the place. And it's Morgan Gibbs White's ball through to Brennan Johnson. Johnson skipped around the goalkeeper and rolled it in. He looked offside. It looked like it wouldn't count. And VAR says he's onside. Johnson gets a fifth goal of the season. And Forrest lead Leicester by a goal to nil. Up hoisted away by O'Brien to Gibbs White. And Gibbs White with an acrobatic scissors kick to get it further away. Then Surridge holds on to it, gives it back Brilliant. to Gibbs White. Oh, Gibbs White couldn't quite get it under control. And Forrest with three against two. Now he has got it under control. And pings out a ball to Johnson. Johnson away from his man. Yes! Finish it what it That is a superb finish from Brennan Johnson. And Forrest lead 2-0. Wonderful, wonderful clip inside the far post from Johnson after getting beyond the last man from a wideish right position and finds the inside of the far post in front of the Trent end, gets his second goal of the afternoon, gets Forrest's second goal of the afternoon, Gibbs White the provider again and the pace of Johnson got him beyond the defenders and the finish was sublime Forrest 2 Leicester City nil. 5 minutes to go and it's taken by Morgan Gibbs White towards Willie Bolly misses him comes for Johnson oh! who follows oh, him word. from about 15 yards out low into the bottom corner and Forrest are in front after 13 minutes as clean a hit as you could wish to see from Brennan Johnson who smashes it in and gets Forrest in front wins the free kick and as Morgan Gibbs White delivers it comes to the back edge of the penalty area on Brennan Johnson's right foot and Johnson does not need asking twice first time volley bang 1-0 Forrest Absolutely outstanding strike there from Johnson. It's not an easy one either. It's come to him with a little bit of pace, but he's hit it so sweetly with his right foot. Kaylor Navas, presumably a Manchester City fan, has thrown that back on. The referees allowing play to go on. As Andre Ayu now gives it to Mangala on halfway. Now Froiler back for Oral Mangala. Lays it to his left for Felipe. Felipe forward to Ayu, sucks it back for Mangala again. And Mangala gives it to Worrell. Worrell out to the right-hand side for Nico Williams. Williams sucks it back again for Worrell. Worrell for Freuler. As much possession of Forrest have kept in the game. Williams forward to Gibbs White. Gibbs White moves it quickly to Johnson. Johnson right wing. Johnson cutting in. He's away from one. He's into the penalty area. Leaves it for Gibbs White to yeah! And it's in! It's Chris Wood back post! Brilliant from Gibbs White and Johnson! And Chris Wood from a yard out gets his first Forest goal! Low ball in from the right hand side. Gibbs White and Johnson were brilliant down that right side. There's always the question was Chris Wood onside as he got to it at the back stick? But that was brilliant football! Superb from Gibbs White! Finding Johnson, and Johnson ghosted away from two into the penalty area. Gave it back to Gibbs White. Gibbs White drove it in low and hard. It came back post, and Chris Wood was on hand to tuck it home if he was onside. And I think he was. I think Ruben Diaz may have played him on at the near post. Gibbs White's ball in. Chris Wood left foot, one yard out back post. Forest one, Manchester City one. Bouncing ball inside the uh, Brighton half, and Danilo gives it to Gibbs White. Back to Danilo, forward to a one year inside the penalty area. A one year gives it to Loddy to cross, and it's in. It's deflected in. Loddy banged in the cross from the left hand side, and it deflects eventually off Jason Steele and in. Off a defender, off Steele, into the net. Forest are on terms, right on the stroke of half time. Lewis Dunk, Dunk drops it forward towards Casado. Danilo nicks it off him, and Danilo goes on the run ahead of Awanyi and gets it back. Danilo into the penalty area. Yes! Too slow into the corner! Oh my word! Across the face of goal! Danilo scores his first Forest goal in front of the Trent end! And the Reds lead Brighton by two goals to one! Halfway through the second half! The young Brit
Brazilian has edged Forrest in front, nicking the ball away in midfield, then running ahead of Awanyi to get on the end of Awanyi's return pass down the inside right channel and driving it beyond steel, low into the opposite corner. It's Forrest 2, Brighton 1. Can Morgan Gibbs White give them daylight? as they move into stoppage time. Gibbs White, right Yes! Sends yes, the goal the wrong way. Rolls it low into the right-hand corner. And Forrest lead Brighton by three goals to one. Through Lodi to Danilo. Danilo over the top looking for Johnson. It's a great ball. Johnson cuts it in field. And yeah! a one fires it in. Oh, what a goal that is. That is brilliant from Forrest. Lodi, Danilo, Johnson. A one year, one time, one time, one time, one time. 12 yards out, bang, goal. Forest one, Southampton nil. First blood on a crucial, crucial night in the Premier League. Yates heads it wide to the left hand side for Lodi. Into Danilo. Danilo helps it on towards yeah. a one year. And a one year turns and volleys it in from six yards out. Crashes home a waist high volley and makes it Forest 2, Southampton nil. 21 minutes in at the city ground. Here's Morgan Gibbs White stepping up, bangs it down the middle, and McCarthy jumps out of the way. And Forest are 3 1 ahead just before half time at the city ground. Johnson won the penalty with quick thinking to get in front of Ainsley Maitland Niles. And it's smashed in by Morgan Gibbs-White. And Johnson now controls and forward by Worrell to Coyato, who leaves it now for Johnson. Johnson pulls it back. Gibbs-White leaves it run. Danilo fires in. Danilo has three in three. And Forrest have a fourth on the night. Lovely little touch from Gibbs-White to set up the Brazilian. And Danilo thumps it in in front of the Trent end to give Forrest the goal they so, so badly needed. It's 4-2. They restore their two-goal lead. Great break down the right-hand side. Eventually, Johnson's ball in. Lovely little flick from Gibbs-White to leave Danilo in space. Left foot, crash into the net. Forrest 4, Southampton 2, 17 minutes to go. Wins a header in the middle of his own half, but again, it's Arsenal who pick it up and then give it away. And now Gibbs White leaps across halfway, and it's two against yeah. two. On, and Gibbs White it. beats it. it to a one year. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In front. 19 minutes in at the city ground. It's his fifth goal in three games. A break across halfway. Morgan Gibbs White ran into deep into the Arsenal half. his shot away and it's low into the Trent's end net and Forrest strike first on a night when they might might secure their Premier League status for another season Forrest hit the front it's that man again it's Taiwo one year again it's Forrest one Arsenal nil and a win tonight keeps them safe in the Premier League Listen to that noise. One bad pass from the best technician on the on the football field. Martin Odegaard, terrible pass. Gibbs White, also a great technician. Carried it, carried it. Perfect release of the ball at the right time. And actually, it's a bit of a shinner, really. I think the defender got there first before Taiwei won you. It didn't matter. He got his foot there, back of the net, just to start the Forest wanted. And the crowd went ballistic. And as we get going again and he picks it up, we should have 20 seconds left. That should Just be all it is. Launch it in a corner. It's going to go as far away from the forest goal as it possibly can. 
because that should... Yes! The whistle goes! Wow! Forrest have beaten Arsenal! And Forrest will stay in the Premier League! With a game to spare! The escape is complete! And Forrest will have another season of top flight football next season! They've beaten Arsenal 1-0! to cap off what has been an incredible end to the season, especially here at the City Ground, where they've won their last three to get out of the relegation zone and with a game to spare to put their place in the top flight next season. Forrest defy all the odds. They defy all the pundits. And they stay in the Premier League. Taiwan. Yi's goal, 20 minutes in, has beaten Arsenal 1-0. Arsenal will not win the league. The league title goes to Manchester City. They are champions. Bob Forrest are Premier League next season, like they've been Premier League this season. And they'll do it all again against the big boys next year. And they've done it with a game to spare. The crowd has been magnificent all season, is magnificent today and is in absolute ecstasy here at the city ground as Forest are safe. They will not be relegated and they will play Premier League football next season.